Hi folks, it's Dr. David Morris with Magnolia Medical Centers here in Murfreesboro, Tennessee. And today I'm bringing you another a short video on the thyroid. Today we want to talk about genetics and the thyroid. So a lot of people come in and they read on the internet and they say, does genetics play a part in my thyroid problem? And because my mother had a thyroid problem, my grandmother had a thyroid problem, my sister has a thyroid problem, everybody in their family has a thyroid issue. And they want to know, how do I find out if genetics plays a part in my thyroid condition? So I want to cover the subject of genetics today because not many people are testing this. And even when they do test it, it actually just creates a problem for the individual because then they feel like they have a genetic problem that they could do nothing about. I'm here to tell you that's absolutely not true. Genetics only plays a very small part in this, but it does play a part. So let's go over this. So if it, you have to think about genetics as how many lanes of a highway were you given? When we're talking about your metabolism, we want you to have as many lanes to a highway so you have traffic such as things that can come into your body to be absorbed to use as nutrients and, to, and proteins to build your body, vitamins, minerals, and we want to absorb those and make as, as best use of those things as possible. Then we want lanes of your highway that are very efficient at getting rid of toxins and waste products. So think of your genetic potential as how many lanes of a highway do you have. So let's say someone was born, and you all know people like this and you probably don't like them very much. Somebody's born and they have perfect genetic expression. So all of their genes are, are just right. They can eat whatever they want. They could smoke for their whole life. They can drink a lot and they never gain weight. They never seem to get sick. They never seem to have a health problem. And you go, wow, they were, must have just been born with good genes. And that's true because they can have, or it could be true, we don't know what their genes are like, but it just means that they have a real potential of having lots of lanes to the highway. So we would hope, let's say someone has an eight lane highway. Now, if we did genetic testing on someone, which we do in our office, and we find out that they have lanes of their highway that are blocked. So they've got some lanes that, are, that no longer exist for them. They were just were not born with those lanes to the highway. So what does that mean for that individual? Does it mean that they're going to have a health issue? The answer is no. It does not mean they're going to have a health issue. What matters at that, per, at that point for that person and for everybody that walks around on this planet, especially in the United States, is how much traffic is on those highways. So the more traffic that you have, the more likely they are to have a health problem. So somebody can have, instead of eight lanes, they may only have six due to their genetic makeup. That means traffic for that person is going to have much more of an impact on them. So what are the causes of traffic for an individual regarding their genetic expression? Well, causes of traffic that make a difference for someone's thyroid or any metabolic problem are going to be toxins in the environment, toxins in their body, hormone imbalances, food sensitivities, that's the big one, poor digestion. Just go home and watch television. Tell me if you don't find a commercial that talks about some medication that's going to help a, di a digestive issue. Irritable bowel syndrome, Crohn's disease, they've got diarrhea, constipation, they've got bloating and gas. Um, uh, GERD. So digestive problems are huge in this country. So poor digestion is a big one. Poor diet. The standard American diet, frankly, is awful. Adds a lot of traffic to someone's genetic expression. Stress. Uh, Americans are said to have more stress in one month now than their grandparents had in their entire lifetime. Infections. And on and on and on. So no matter how many lanes to the highway you were given, what truly matters, and the, the statistics by the best geneticists in the world say that the amount of traffic is what matters, not how many lanes of the highway. So let's say you only have four lanes. Well, we're going to want to know that. We need to know because then traffic is going to have much more of an impact on you than it would with somebody that has eight lanes to this highway. So traffic makes a big difference. 98% of any problem related to genetics is related to the traffic. So I wanted to bring this information to you today. Here at Magnolia Medical Center, we do, a, we do genetic testing related to clinically significant problems. Meaning we don't care if somebody has um, blue eyes and blonde hair or if, they're gonna, if their kids are going to have 
um, long, strong fingernails or something like that. What we care about is the genetic expression as it relates to clinical problems and metabolism. And we do that testing, and not many people do that. We do the interpretation. So if you have a thyroid problem or you think you have a thyroid problem and you want the best testing and the best results and the best care, you should call our office. The phone number is 615-225-9100. Folks, please do me a favor. This is so important uh, to people that are suffering with health problems, not just thyroid issues, but any health problem. Genetics does play a part, and our dedication is to getting people well. So please do me a favor. Click on the button below here. Share this with your friends and family. Uh, click like, subscribe to our channel so any more videos that we do you can get uh, you can get notice of. And what we want you to do is stay on the road to good health. Thanks for watching.